Hello and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to synthesize anhydrous sodium acetate using easy to obtain chemicals. This video is a part of a series on how to make glacial acetic acid. I hope you enjoy it and uh, here we go. For this tutorial you will need one conical flask, one beaker, 200ml of distilled vinegar, sodium hydrogen carbonate, a bowl, a funnel, filter paper or coffee filters, a Bunsen burner and a dish for drying the product. Firstly you'll need to measure out 200ml of vinegar, decant this vinegar into your plastic bowl and take this bowl to a place where you don't mind a mess being made, I did mine outside. Wrap the acetic acid in the vinegar with the sodium bicarbonate. You should keep pouring in the sodium bicarbonate until all of the acetic acid has reacted. This too could take a while. Then you should filter the solution to get rid of any excess unreacted sodium bicarbonate. You should then boil the remaining solution down to about to about 40 to 50 ml to create a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. This takes quite a while so you must be patient. When crystals start to form on the surface of the solution, immediately remove the beaker from the heat and decant into a conical flask. Allow the solution to cool slowly in order for crystallization to occur. To do this you can use some kind of insulation like tissue paper and tin foil. Once the solution reaches room temperature you can put it, the conical flask into an ice bath, ice bath to further aid cooling. After crystallization is complete you can filter the excess solvent to leave the solute behind. you are left with sodium acetate trihydrate. This, this can then be heated or put in the oven to remove the waters of crystallization to form anhydrous sodium acetate. The sodium acetate must be completely and thoroughly dried in order to make glacial acetic acid as any water will become difficult to separate from the final product as it forms an azotrope with the acetic acid. And there you have it.